Sneep. 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 What? What? Uh, what? Hollow note. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Cute pencil case. Hi. And me. And it's so. We totally didn't just restart the stream. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> totally. What? This was our first try. Welcome back to Art Fluffs. <laughs> with the <laughs> with the fluffinator, twelve thousand. Is that just another name for a CPC? Um, it might be. Yeah. You know, I just looked at my critique folder. I got this, <laughs> and I'm really happy. I got this. Do you? Okay, cool. we 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 got it on the draw pile. I hope everyone's in the draw pile Yay. who needs to be in said draw pile. I foresee a fluffing. I I am in the draw pile, indeed. It is so. Make it so. The person who requested it wanted it to be a bipedal pony. All right. Ah. Then that makes sense. Good. Um, Good I do have a question about how your bipedal ponies walk. Because she's leaning forward for this entire thing with legs very close together. I just foresee falling forward. Yeah, yeah I personally thought she was supposed to be, like, hovering. Mm-hmm. She's yeah. just on her tippy toes. <laughs> so I, I kind of see what you're saying with that, like, if if she's standing then it's like the center of gravity is kind of off a little bit i'm going to do some sketching once i find my tablet pen the magics oh, of no. pegasus they can never be off balance because wings they're too light <laughs> <Go wobs. laughs> so like right where i drew a line that's kind of the center of mass right there and yeah so i mean you might want to like whoop, it back that's exactly a little bit. where i was going to draw Ah, so many lines. <laughs> there we go. Center of gravity. <laughs> yeah. So that's basically uh that's it. So the the issue is like uh you look at how much weight is on one side and how much weight is on the other side and think about the sort of counterbalance there. To the picture cranes, you know they they're really tall and then you've got like a big long arm that's like dragging stuff around. On the other side you've got a huge block. And that's because they need to counterbalance that weight. Otherwise, the whole thing's going to tip over. Because you've got a big arm carrying a big weight. So uh, it's all about that sort of balance. And I don't think this booty is too is big enough to like counterbalance the whole torso and head. So I think that's why we put the center of gravity <laughs> just in front of them. <coughs> I'm we didn't really do anything to work that out either. I think it's, it's really just a matter of feeling. Like, okay, if I was standing there, I could feel my weight is placed where. Okay, just in front, so then it's like, they're kind of falling. Uh, one thing you can do, uh, my tablet is missing, oh, there it is, is just move move a leg forward, I guess, uh, move another one backwards, because if you spread out the weight, then they've got a larger center of uh, support. That was really, my doodling's really bad, though. Um, and, like just like straighten up their spine a little bit because with bipedal ponies like if they're going to be if if they requested it then just kind of be like yeah straighten up a little bit i can see what you, you, you i mean it, one thing i do want to say is you've got a lot of sort of life in the pose there they definitely don't look stiff they look very flexible and i like that but it it's a it's it's one thing to sort of it's one step to put life and energy into your poses, another to sort of make sure that they're balanced. Um, so just two minor corrections to the arms. Your your elbow, where it connects, is actually the thinnest part on your pony here, which is odd. Horses are like, a, their arms are basically a, a cylinder, it just keeps, or uh, yes, a cylinder. But a graduated cylinder, graduating on one side only. <laughs> yes, that's, that's totally actually. how the words work. It it just keeps growing. It, it's like a cone with the top cut off. Um, so to make this part thinner, while it does give it the more anthro feel, even humans don't actually have their elbow thinner. If you're to straighten out your arm, it's going to be a little dip in there, but it's not actually thinner than like the wrist or the 
well, the wrist. No, yeah, it's just sort of where the, the flesh and muscles sort of curves around the bones. Um, the other one is your other hoof has completely vanished behind this truck. It does appear as though the hoof is supposed to be holding the other side, but the truck's not big enough to hide the hoof, as we can see. These aren't Powerpuff Girls. Yes. They don't have magnetic hooves. <laughs> they totally do. Ponies can pick up objects with their hooves uh, without yeah, effort. There's, there's a bit of magic finagled in there, but yeah, you have a very valid point. <laughs> Um, and then the third point I have is the other wing. The The one wing is flared out quite a lot behind her for the way she's turned. So she's turned this direction. Runner, runner, runner. Um, we, we would have the other wing actually tucked in here sort of thing, like behind the back. We'd just be getting the side of it. So I just move that second wing back a bit. Beyond that, freaking adorable. Love the little ponytail on the hair. I, uh, I would love to see a little more detail thrown in there because right now it's pushed off, just towards one side of the head. But if you're actually centered out back, you can do a lot of, a lot of coolness with that. And how big it is? We. Um. Yeah. So how about you find people who've been drawing this tale? I believe that was cute pencil case. Me? Yes, you. Uh, I it got off. I didn't hear what you said. Oh, I was, I was offering you to go next because I saw your pencil stop dancing. Uh, I just put the tail a little bit up because the tail seems like it's coming from, it's not following the, the spine. All right. Yeah, no, I agree with that. It's, it's, it, that's another sort of really easy to make mistake. It, uh, placing that tail sort of too low down uh, on the, the backside rather than going up to the top where the spine actually stops. Very good point. So beyond those, do you have any more questions? Because I don't see any more marks laid on here, short of that adorable thing Fluffy's eyes creating off to the side was creating. I was just doodling a tail. They got nothing, and they say thank you. Oh, yeah. way, it's so cute. I love your style. Cute little, cute Seriously, little yeah. Sweet. I really love how you have it rendered too. Like my favorite area is the mm. belly and the thigh. I can't like it's just I really like how mm, that. I think I think so as well. That looks really nice. You got some love, you got your colors, squishy. your lights and shadows are very balanced and very like they're sharp in all the right places and soft in all the right places. Also, mm -hmm. I think I also look, I don't usually use the whole like measurement thing, but like you know what LD always talks about with the the circles and the measurement. It looks like you've got that sort of balance really well. How do I make the mane look more like hair and not like a block of color? Interesting question. Uh, that is really hard. So with hair, in general, it it's it's hard to shade hair. Um, a lot of the time, you'll see people kind of just taking different shades of the same kind of like hue. Or I don't know if it that if I have that mixed up or not because I'm terrible at names. The color, yeah. And then they'll just kind of overlay them. So like they'll do something kind of like like I'm going to suddenly have blue hair because yeah. So they'll kind of have something like like oh gosh, like that. And then they'll kind of just do the little like, ooh, there's there's these, and then there's these, and that's one way to do it. It it kind of looks stringy to me personally, but I I'm kind of picky about it. I would go over to uh, Vera Stuber's art. And give him a good study because he, yeah, just stare at his art as he's drawing it. He yeah, like, around and be like, "What are you doing?" Literally, cute pencil case linked that just as I was talking about it. Um, 
So I would talk, I would like study his hair really well because he does hair and um, wings like amazing. And there are just so many small details in there that it's really hard to like actually say, this is how you do hair. So well, would I, would, oh, sorry, you go first. Um, okay, uh, I'll just be, I'll be really quick, I promise. Um, I think sometimes hair doesn't have to be super duper hard, um, especially with a drawing like this. This is obviously like a colored sketch. Um, I know you've done more cleaner line art and rendering and such. So to just give something texture when you have like the body, having this nice rendering to have a little bit of texture to it. Um, think about the hair in clumps. Like you have the big clump of the hair itself, you know, to start with. But then think about like, you know, clumps of darks and lights that the hair would have, not just like how the highlights would lay on it. But like, maybe if we take like a, let me get a slightly darker color. Do do oh, of course my like, <laughs> my, I don't have good uh, pressure sensitivity in this program, but you know, you pick out the darks and you kind of starting with like a big brush is kind of explained well in uh vad you know the yakovals the second one the one that the mlp ds <laughs> drawing school link that link um that's a very detailed version of it but you can use that and not go all the way with it and like just more bigger and broader to separate the the strands and the hair to make it feel like it has that hair texture without getting out that spaghetti brush that we hate never <laughs> use a spaghetti brush I it can be useful, but um, <laughs> what it, is a spaghetti brush? Some people there's a brush that's pretty much a bunch of very tiny lines, uh, and some people just use that and cover the entire hair with it, right. so it looks like little little angel hair spaghettis, and it never quite feels you know as yeah. best as hair could feel. But yeah, um, just think of it as clumps. Mm. Uh, so what I've been doing uh, is. So, so, so a way that I've learned recently to have a, a good sort of amount of detail to hair uh, is you start off with like just sort of the basic uh, shape, which is like, okay, so I've got some hair here, you know, it's uh, you, you've got like the basic strands and everything, but it's like, how can I improve that? And then what I, what I typically do is I then just sort of, I use that as a guide and I go inside and like, you know, you split up the strands, uh, you do... Uh, you can just go back and watch me. I drew this, and then I just basically uh, softly erased most of it, and then went over it again. Um, you, you can split bigger strands into smaller ones. You can split them apart. Put other little bits flowing in, like this bit here, uh, this part here. Uh, you can. What was that? Uh, what did I just do? Oh, that was really spent. Okay. Uh, and just add more sort of detail, like just basically show where things are flowing. Like, okay, this line's flowing to this one. Um, also, m remember that hairs have ha hair in general has a point where it grows out from. It has like a parting point, uh, and so I always uh, one thing I learned really early on is you just do a circle and you like you just stroke out your hair from that circle. It only gets you so far, but it does help. But what I've been doing recently is just really sort of adding in that like okay, there's a little pit here, and then like everything will just sort of flow towards that point, uh, and it really does help your hair have a bit of shape and weight to it then. And that, that, of course, is more like the actual drawing and not so much like uh, lineless coloring, but it does give you like a good starting point. And then you can go through, you've got the strands here now, you've got the shape, and then you, you just go through and you just uh, do what you do with the rest of it and put your lights and darks and everything. So yeah, hopefully that was all very helpful. I know a lot of information, but try things, play with it, all the fun, all, all the fun of art. Booping that snoot. <laughs> Cute. Uh, anyone else have any art they would like to have critiqued today? I just show something in the voice chat. I don't believe him. <laughs> I, I, I know it's crap, and it's like, how can I make it less crap? It's the, the EQG. Stolen Design is the name of the picture? <laughs> yeah, because, okay, the, the, con the, the context behind this, my friend Starry Flame um, 
had like a particular style for her character and then she humanized that into like EKG style. And then with Sai Twai and like any every single time they've like adjusted Sai Twai's design, it's become slowly more like her her design. So she's just like, You're stealing me <laughs> Like it it's really close to how she looks and it's like oh, well. it was a bit of an inside joke, so I drew a picture of it. I'm surprised CPC hasn't put fluff on the truck yet. Trucks it's, are it's... cold. They aren't fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I there it goes. Soon. Perfection. Fluffy trucks. Oh, God. It's people. I... Uh, oh, God. Okay. Those are words. Mm hmm. It's not horse. I yeah. don't know if I can do this. We we believe in you. You you can I'm do not... anything you put your mind to it. Just do it. Do it. <laughs> Already I'm going to have a very support. very very like beginner level thing here. Just because... well, not everything has to be anatomy. You can critique other things. There's also hairs and just you know use that yeah. art knowledge. It's like it's transferable. Yeah, right? No. Horses only work with horses. This, okay. No, really. Um. <laughs> I've, I've become better at drawing the things that my friend demands I draw by using my experiences with pony drawing. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I know. Wait, you take demands instead of requests? Oh, sweet! <laughs> Art slave! I demand 12 <laughs> cute ponies! Oh my god. I just noticed. I think I, I feel my like, OC. Um, I feel like Twilight's ponytail should be behind her shoulder. I just realized. Um, if she's jerking backwards, no. You can totally make that yeah, play can... with that. Because it like looks like she's flowing forward. Like she's going backwards against her because that's the where her gravity's going. <laughs> that's okay. You can fuck the hair. Nah, don't do that. <laughs> There is no fluff, I'm sorry. Fluff the people? Give them fur jackets! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first thing that I see, and it's really just kind of a nitpicky thing, because I know a lot of people do this because it's like an anime style, and I don't know if it's your style or what, but the nose... There is like, yet yeah, horse the, face, really. <laughs> yeah, it it's the, right now it's muzzled and it shouldn't be. Mm, I was trying to sort of get that little bit of shape in there, but well, maybe not yeah. that kind of rounded nose. But yeah, I, I no, I'm it. I'm literally <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, I, I, I was I was trying I was to like yeah. You can see like when there's like a little dip. I, I it's just I think it was more pronounced initially, but I had to like I kept having to change the face. Um, yeah, and it still doesn't look very nice. Yeah, I mean, like, and I know a lot of animes <gasps> actually give their characters muzzles. It's like just yeah, very, very basic... small ones. It's just yeah. like I don't know if that was the plan here or what. And so yeah. I was kind of like, well, I, I, was kind of, I kind of tend to allude to that sometimes, just because it seems to be like what the acceptable like style is. But I, I guess that's not really how art's supposed to go. <laughs> You should just do what looks right, I guess. So your your Twilight wasn't actually focusing on the character because we aren't. Oh yeah. Okay. We aren't square on this, but your Twilight was focusing as the straight in front. Yeah, that looks much better. Um, your hands look okay. They're short of finger though, on one. Ah oh, yes, on the left hand. I see. There's no indication of a thumb there. Oh no, that's right. It, oh no, it's a thumb, yeah. I mean, it, I was trying to add that in, like, oh god. I was looking at other people's pens, that was really surreal. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was trying to do you know, where keep pens case doing. I was trying thumbs. to add it, but there wasn't really any... I didn't think I could find any space, it just didn't really look right. Fair enough. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like the, the angle of her arm in general isn't very good. But I, I didn't really know how to like, how no. to do that better. I personally, I think her her arm is long, but I mean anime. 
So, like, if you if you stick your arms and curve them ninety degrees, so your arms are straight, but your like your second whatever the, whatever the name of that second bone is, <laughs> your forearms are like ninety degrees Fingers. off your body, perpendicular to your body. Where does your elbow end on your body? It should be above your hip. Mm. You are good analog for humans, seeing as you might possibly be one, yet to be confirmed. <laughs> yes. You can't just tell people that. Hello, Dragon. It's more, I mean, I know there's a lot of flexibility when you're doing, like, this particular pose, there's a lot of flexibility to where the arms are placed. It could be sort of tucked into the body or, like, out like chicken arms. But, um, I don't know, I, I sort of, I feel like they're too far back and too flat looking. Um, plus the off arm, I feel like is shorter looking and weird looking. I couldn't get like the arm. Yeah, I've pose. been trying. I've been trying so to figure that one under. out. I almost wanted to go further behind herself, like have the arm mm. down further, and just you're yeah. seeing basically the hand pop out. Initially, I think it was quite folded in on itself, but then I was like trying to make it work, and it ended up like that, and then it's even worse. And I don't know. Who's done what to the eye on the starry flame? Me. What, what was your thinking there? I think uh, the, the corner of the eye, uh, I don't know if it should go under the nose. So I did the ah. shape first and then cut, mm. it shouldn't be there. Yeah, I think that's a, another mixture of both anime tropes and pony tropes, actually, because the nose does go up in, in between where the eyes start. Um, that's a good point. I can see what you did there. Do I also see hints of, like, Steven Universe? Because, like, I feel like uh, Twilight looks a lot like that kind of art style. I think. I was actually, oh, I, was co I was sort of copying something, but the teeth I did differently. Um, there was a picture that someone linked yesterday of that uh, Egyptian pony, um, but the the comic she is a picture from the comic. Uh, I can't remember her name now, and I'll try and find the picture. I was I was using it as expression reference, but the teeth are slightly different. So I kind of don't agree with where Twilight's back of the head is. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it should be a little bit more behind her, like this way. And my pen is like the same color as that, so I feel like it it shouldn't be back oh, like it there. sticks out too far. Yeah, because it it feels yeah. like she's got like a serious like bun right there <laughs> of hair before her ponytail starts. I and I'm assuming kinda... that's supposed mm. to be the back of her head. Yeah, I, I think it might be. It's kind of like a mix. It's just like where the hair folds back a bit, I guess. Um, I was using references, obviously. Um, I don't have the one in particular on my ha on hand because I just used Google. Oh, there's the, there's the I found the expression reference there. Where is Discord gone? Oh, there. It is. I should have probably tilted the top of one of her eyes. Yeah. But, um, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, I could bring bring the top of her head down because it makes sense. But the. Oh! <coughs> Celestia, like, auto spoiler <laughs> that. It's from the comics, so I don't know. Anywho, um, yeah, anyone else have any? Anything? I got nothing. Do they think it's weird? They're pretty cute. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, like, yeah, I agree. I, I always just have difficulties with, like, equestrian girls, because I know they're, yeah, like, long and thin, so <laughs> it's like... Mm. Obviously, I had trouble with it as well. <laughs> yeah. Anyone else have art to throw at us then? And people can throw at us more than once, or uh, not more than once, like, yeah. multiple people can throw at us, so we can just queue it up and be easy to just go art to art. 
We'll make it fast. Yeah. Roaming in the wilds of art. <laughs> I'd also like to remind everyone what someone else has been reminding us all of. And it is this lonely, lonely Aggie filled with very, very little art. <gasps> I'm about to jump in. Quick, people, fill it with art. How can you fill it with evil fluff? Reading stream? Oh, wait, I found it. And now I've got to open it on edge. That's edgy. It's so on edge because it's a, a horrible program. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, did we lose half of it? Half of what? I could have sworn there's drawings on all four sides. There was. People deleted them. Aww. Chaos. Yours was cute. Why did you delete it? And now something else is there. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know where to draw now in case someone puts their drawing back. Middle. <laughs> Dead middle. Eh, uh, okay. Oh, that's a tribble. That is an angry tribble. Oh no. Oh no. Have you never known the trouble of tribbles? No. Oh my god. What is that? He's the trouble of tribbles. The terrible trouble of tribbles. It's it's Star Trek. Yeah, it is. Just... Oh, I didn't watch Star Trek. Oh my god, but you're British. They have it on BBC. <laughs> I was about to say, what does being British have to do with Star Trek? Mm -hmm. No, no, that's no, like, no. That's like saying well, I also me... have to be into Harry Potter and Doctor Who. I mean, I am. Yeah, straight but... you do. <laughs> no, it is, it is a legal requirement of anyone British to have read the <laughs> Harry Potter books and know at least five of the doctors. Like, personally know them? Just, you know, have them in their phone well, contacts? I mean, I mean <laughs> personally knowing them would probably get me going over to Fluffy's Eyes house and being like, get me David Tennant. <laughs> I wish to speak with him. I, I would hug Max Smith if I could. <laughs> <laughs> My drawing seems to stop working. How odd. Do you hate it when t your tablet no longer is doing anything on the page for some reason? Is your pen charged? The mouse does. Wait. Yes, because it's moving. So, like, that's weird. That was uh, something. And my mouse can draw a line fine. Anyone else? Any anyone got art to throw at a face? Because it may just be a... Wow, we got a lot of people watching today. Hey, everybody who's watching who's never watched before. 17? Yeah. What? Yeah. Man, it's like the one week that we don't have art. Right? Oh. Usually we have a whole stack of things and we go through yeah. it. You guys, you know, this isn't the normal, okay? Okay? It's normally better. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, we actually do bit. stuff. <laughs> we um, normally have more art. Uh, uh, all right. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Uh, the, the Aggie. We all draw on the Aggie and get other people to, and we just stream the Aggie until people give us stuff to critique. We could have random requests. Do 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 Whoa. do 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 do. There, my pen suddenly started. What the, just happened? Something weird just happened to like the nib. Did it fall that's out? Weird. Maybe. And it like pushed back in. I guess that, that, that's weird. They they bobble around inside of it. Oh, that's Zom right. Zom. We apparently missed one. Yeah. What? Can you throw it again? I I see it. It's up a bit. Oh. Okay. Or I'll just. I apologize. I'll make it easy. Um, just, just chuck it at. Words. Oh, there we you miss go. words. So oh, many no. things. I really did miss that one. All right. God, Listen. I don't want to be an idiot and actually turn off my computer, but I'm resting my leg on it. 
Don't do it. Mm -hmm. ah! Thank you for reminding us that you threw it and did not critique. Don't be afraid to uh to be like, hey, hey bro. Stop asking for more art when my art's not up there. Exactly. Poke us. We're, we we have uh we need to be poked sometimes. Limited attention Carson, span really. Uh, mm -hmm. Chuck it one of uh we'll chuck it up and We got it. I'm just we already got it. This is why we Carson. say throw the art at our faces. So like Carson? if it like hits our face, it'll be great. And then there's an implant, so no, they have the art, we can just put our face on the stream and critique that. Did you fluff clothes? You fluff the glasses. <laughs> I know. The power of fluffy. It's the power of she, fluff. She went like all out with that fluff. <laughs> she even fluffed the star. They're oh. ready for winter. Did we get Tarson's? Sketch. They never Tarson one, didn't give us one. Tarson, throw it at our face. All right, Equine Vincent Omnia. Um, do you have any questions offhand about this picture? I just tried to use a toothpick to scroll. What the heck? <laughs> I mean, if you push hard enough on your scroll wheel, I suppose that'll work. Do 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 do. Okay. Oh, no. uh, I think we have to wait because I think the stream is like on a delay still. It's slow. It's a stream. Slow, isn't it? Yep. Just like molasses. I was <laughs> gonna say me, but you know. <laughs> How do you fix the leggies? The leggies? The leggles! What if I told you we're pretty good at teaching people how to make a pony? Especially what? when they're starting off. What? We're, we're gonna break this horse down into its elements. We're gonna teach you how and to build it up. How's that sound? Alright, grabbing Torsons. Tarsons? Awesome. Tarson. Tarson. Yeah, she's got a sandwich. Oh, God. I'm a sucker for sunny buns. I'm a sucker for sandwiches. <laughs> I'm happy that Q Pencil Case agrees with my sketch. Ah. Because Q Pencil Case is arguably one of the better than me. Yeah. I heard yeah, so I'm going to agree. No. <laughs> Time to get out the bapping stick. She actually said yeah in Japanese. No. <laughs> Nah, totally right, no, better. no, it's okay. no, no, none of that. Nah, nah, but it's true. We don't accept nope. self degradation. Degradation. Ah. Don't make Zom Zom kick you off the stream. I will hunt you down and I'll boop you. I'm pretty sure you know basically where I live, too. I mean, I've mailed you stuff. Have... No, that was your previous house. Like four years ago. Uh, wait, what did you... No, that was... No, you, you, uh, you, you, you mailed me that here. No, you oh, did. Okay. You my address, and I still need to do your plushie. Uh, I have it cut out and everything, <laughs> except for, yeah. Anyway, back to the stream, because we got art to critique. Yes. Uh, we were, we were giving yeah. the people time so they could get their ink on the board. That's, that's what we're doing there. Totally. All right, so let's talk. Let's talk building of a pony, um, because we've made this wonderfully swirly mess. I'm just gonna quickly off the side here, right where Allie was about to steal. Go for it. <laughs> Your pony is essentially made of a few bits. We have the head, which is a circle. Oh, that's not a circle. Which is a circle. Sure, we'll call that. Swoosh it, Zom Zom. Swoosh it. You got this. <laughs> the the entire tablet moved as I pushed on it. Oh no. As good as views Matt is, it's kind of slippery. <laughs> the force of your art was too strong. So this is our head. This is the head of the pony. All right, it's one head unit. From there, we get to form the body. The body is approximately two bits of two thirds of a head. And it goes like this. Um, I might've made those a bit small. 
we're going to fix that. We, we got to know this because we measure and compare to our original size. What that means is we take our size, we take our pencil, line it up to the top, and then we bring it on down so it's holding sideways and go, oh, it's exactly this tall edge. This is one head unit. And we get to use that measurement to go for the second bits and the rest of it. We go, well, if I only want three quarters, I can just sort of guesstimate that's about three quarters. And they, they just sort of create like a Venn diagram to create the body. And this is our horse body. And then we can just sort of connect those jelly beanages together. And now the we have the horse beans. body. The jelly beans. And ponies are so sweet, it must be jelly beans and cotton candy. Of course. Now legs. Legs are kind of wonderfully easy as soon as you break them down. So I'm going to switch up colors a little bit here. I'm going to go to a purple. Legs are exactly one head unit tall for a grown pony. Just as a base line. They form about the two-fifths on the body. At least for the front legs. And they shoot on down. And they grow as they get down there. Now for the hoof size... Your hoof, whoops, your hoof is about three quarters of a head large. So if you were to take that hoof and bop it on the face, it's actually going to take up three quarters of that face. Hooves are huge, but I mean, ponies are hilariously adorable, so they, they make up for it. We're going to lay the second leg out beside it, depending on whatever angle they're going. Now for the back legs. Back legs, they're, they're a little bit harder, but try, I, I believe in you. Just follow these wonderful steps and you'll get there. We're gonna we're gonna form the back legs in two parts. First part is connected up just about two fifths from the top of the body, and it is the teardrop. Now the teardrop is the hip of the pony. That's what forms the buttocks of your pony. Attached to that buttocks is the entire rest of the leg, and it goes like this. It sits at the same width as your front hoof. Now that's a cylinder or a cone. It grows and it has no top to it, so no pointy bit. And it's attached like that. This is how we can form our basic pony. Using this, we can modulate it to whichever position you want because you put joints on them. Joints all over the place. They got attached to the back of the head and then it goes down across the back. And then for the legs, it's all like we have a shoulder joint, and we have a leg, and a hoof. And then for the back legs, it's all like we have this bone. It go Ooh, I'm going to choose a different color there. We have this, and it goes down to just be at the end of that teardrop. And it actually goes up, and that's what forms that hawk. And it goes back down again, and then a hoof. Now I know I might have just thrown a bunch of information at you, but that's all right. You have time to absorb it. You can, when we throw this on YouTube, reverse it and go back. Or, if you want, you can check out some of our wonderful tutorials on the MLP Drawing School. I will throw a link towards your face shortly. MLP Drawing School. Wow, look at those guides. It's on Whoa. our sidebar. Wow. wow! So let's bring this back to your pony you've drawn here and all these crazy lines we've collectively thrown over it. So we have taken the blue horse, because I, I, I did the bulk of that, so I'm just going to keep going on to town on this tangent here. We've taken your blue horse, and we've shrunk down the body. We can see how much we've shrunk down the body by ending it. Let's get a color that we can all see together. A nice bright pink. We've ended the body over here and got the front up, well, where that pink just formed. Now this is shrunk down so it can sort of fit with the size of the head. Modulate bodies as needed. Um, we have taken your hooves, or your front legs, we've given them a bit of a shoulder, we've just dropped them on down on the side of the body and stretched them out forward. Easy peasy lemon squeezy and that is a horse sitting down on the ground now how about the wonderful person who did the green mare who did that that would be cute pencil case and i mostly i think all I right you too we else did. 
Ladies want to take this away? Okay, so, um, basically, <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> excuse me for a moment. You're excused. Okay, so basically, um, I'm going to grab a brighter color here. Uh, with these legs, I kind of did a just quick once over, and I'm on a layer below, with the um, hooves and everything. So, basically, it was like LD was saying, you have these joints, and cute pencil cases drawn over me on this, but you have these joints, and basically, um, I kind of eyeballed it, which was a bad thing, because, yeah, but um, cute pencil case drew in these helpful lines and everything, and so you gotta kind of um, pay attention to those, because all of those are those joints, like uh, LD was talking about. Um... Don't forget that pony hooves kind of, like, graduate out. So, like, the the um, bottom, the hoof itself, is going to be the largest part of the leg. So, even, like, when it's curled up, it's actually going to have a lot more, um, like, just big pony hoof area than um the rest of the leg so it, it you do kind of have to pay attention to that and that is a really crappy leg but whatever um so that that was one of the main things with uh this left leg over here is that it just kind of like stayed the same and along with this one as well is that it just kind of stayed the same so you never got any of that graduation um so just just keep an eye on that. Um, second thing was, and Q Pencil Case did this again, as opposed to me just eyeballing it because I'm terrible at this. Um, so I'm uh, terrible at critiquing. Um, so you kind of have to pay attention with um, these circles like she did. And I'm just going over them real quick with another brighter pencil to show you where I'm going. Um, the, this pony is very, very elastic right now to the point of kind of being taffy. Mm. Um, so you might, so you, you, you do want to pay attention to that construction and just make sure that you still have the circles there, still have that jelly bean shape like the LD was talking about. Um, now with this head it's this is in a really really weird position and it it's very difficult to make this look normal with the way that you have it because right now you have the body going off at a right um three quarters view and you have the head coming in at a left three quarters view so you have these two very conflicting areas. So you have to be kind of, you have to be really careful with how you're attaching the head to the neck, because right now it's a little bit off to the right, and so you're going to want to shift that back to the left and actually get it a little bit more over top of her neck. And um, it, it's going to look weird basically no matter what you do almost with the attachment to the neck because i've never really seen that pose work out to a point that it actually works really well oh you gotta look at more cute pictures they're there <laughs> clearly we got homework for you look at cute pictures of ponies cuddling um aka and... references and research so one last thing is, uh, and and this is this is nitpicky, and this is because I'm I'm weird about them, but I'm not entirely sure what this line is for on your ear. Um, so like I I know what the I know what the bottom line is for, and that that's fine, but I'm not entirely sure what this guy is, and you have it on both of them. So what I mean the, the the problem with that is that you're suggesting that there's like more of her like actual ear 
like um, I, I I don't like the word flesh, but it's like that. Yeah, it looks like it's kind of like a fold there. Like a yeah, and so it it looks like it looks like there's just like a like like just more ear there that's just folding down on top of that. So maybe instead just bring it all the way up. And then you can even have something like on the bottom that shows that the ear is coming in, like the uh, kind of like what you did at the top there, but inverted. So like that almost because you have you have like it because it, the, the ear is cupping outward, so it's it's not it's not just like this little flat thing. Okay. Yes, the puppy pony. Thank you, cute pencil case. I'm all done. <laughs> Please tell me you could hear that well, because apparently my mic has been down by my throat. Yes, we heard oh. it. You are much clearer now. Yay! Oh, that's layer three. Oh, drawing on the wrong layer. An artist staple. I've done it like 18 times today. You should avoid stapling artists. <laughs> yeah, it kind of hurts. I shouldn't do that. Do you have any further questions? Because we're here for you. And only you. <laughs> Alright, cheers to you too. On to the next one. Uh, Tarson. Let's do this one. I like this one. This one's going to be fun. The obvious first question? Sunny bunny. You got any questions for us? Yeah. I always like to know. Questions forever. Questions. Oh my gosh, I just found out you can you can like zoom into the pixel level on this program. <laughs> and it'll actually it, it actually has the grid of pixels, which is weird. Enhance. 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 <laughs> Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Are we solving a crime? It only yes. works it only works with um, vectors now. Oh my gosh. I foresee a fluffening. How do I force it to zoom out again? There's a little, uh, like, slider at the bottom, right next to the host. I removed that bar. No, that's your fault. Yep, that really is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, still no questions offhand yet. Uh, but we can start throwing up lines on a horse 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 make horse horse a horse of course no horse a norse horse of no. the mythology of course that... oh ali <laughs> take me away <laughs> we're going to pun land filled pun with land? puns and rhymes she's just like why have you not told me this before <laughs> it's better than disneyland Pun land, not, not world. Thank you for fixing that, CPC. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's wrong. If, um, if I'm thinking overall, I really like the movement you have going here, but I feel like we could push the movement more and really look at those legs, because the thing that throws me off, personally, is she feels completely off balance. Like, she's about to fall and trip, because nothing is really stable on the ground for her. It's all kind of three out of four of her legs look like they're going to fall. They're not looking like they're going to about to make contact with the ground. That's that's like the one thing that's setting me off there. So they had trouble I, setting up the movement. Okay, okay, I can see. Um, I could, um, so like, 
with this, like, well, like what Ali was saying, if you, like, have her head come down, or, okay, well, LD just brought it up. If you have it come down and, like, have her kind of flatter, it would almost give you a sense of running, and th in which case that this legs, um, the these legs would actually be fairly accurate. But the way that, like, Ali was saying, like, it, with her just walking, it puts her really off balance. I brought her head back so it would give the shorter neck. Mm hmm. And even Q Pencil Case made some adjustments where the hoof is like touching the ground, making that stability contact to have something to hold on to. Personally, I would maybe pull the leg up a little bit. It looks like it's much too far back for how like uh, a leg actually stretches when walking. But um, that's that's something personally. I, I would look at. I know there's a bunch of them out there. Um, just they have the MLP run cycle. Yeah. I would look those up. Those really are fantastic. The walk and run cycles. They have them all broken down into the frames that the show uses. And even if you're not using show style, it still is really great for placing the hooves because there's four hooves to deal with, and they're all moving. But they also have to make sense when they're sense while they're moving, how they yes, bend, like how they have land. To, uh, have both hooves up at the same time. They're gonna be like falling over. Mm -hmm. Like like things you see people do. Like both sides are lifted up at the same time. Like uh like say if we're behind a pony, right? And you have the two hooves on the left side and the two hooves on the right side, and they'll have two hooves on the left side in the air when that's not quite how the run cycle works. There would be no balance. It would just kind of like, they'd lift both those hooves up and then right onto their side. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like striking that, that balance while still keeping that movement. And the best, like we could sit here and, you know, draw all over it, but the best, best thing for you to do is pull up like three or five references of real horses or the MLP or, any kind of artist you really admire, they're if you if they have something like you know pony running, pull up those references and really like examine how the hooves are, how they're held up, and how they're making contact with the ground, because that can really make or break kind of like a movement. Anyone else have anything to say? No, I nope. did the little spiel about pushing the neck back. I talked to my Phil. The hair looks good. The tail is, yes. is coming out of the appropriate spot, so thumbs up. Yes. No, your hair is very pretty. She is it's so luscious. She's exactly what we expect her to be, and that's probably the best compliment we can give you. She's... Yeah. She's the horse. Totally. Yay. Um, I want to see it done. I want to see the little buttery sandwich their little buttery piece of toast little crumbs around her face i want to see the sparkle in her eye one thing that i will say and i didn't really touch on is um i don't know if it's just because of a sketch but your hooves kind of just end like that you gotta kind of hoof them out a little bit especially when they're like pointing um so like actually have like the hoof in there instead of just like blocking it and again <laughs> i'm not sure if that was yeah thank you yeah i i, I don't know if that was like just because of a sketch or if that was the plan or what and one personal thing and i know a lot of people don't do this but i added a boop cheekbone which always i in personally okay hi uh personally i always like them they they like round out the face mm -hmm. i'm always back and forth because i i used to always tell people add add a cheek add a cheek and then i look at the mlp style and they don't always have cheeks because of how far the face is Ooh. twisted and like so yeah, I think a cheek, I love adding cheeks, but just always be careful because sometimes the cheek won't show depending how far the face is twisted. But cheeks do make things adorable. 
Mm-hmm. I love a good cheek fluff. Cool, 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 cool. Um, anyone else for critiquing art? Uh, yeah, why not? We got nothing else to do. Bring it on right to our faces. Eat the horse, horse, horse. All right, we if, have space. Um, I have a, uh, I have a bigger version. You have a bigger version. Yeah, all you have to do is cut out the last, like the width and the height. Oh. Boop right there. Boop, there it is. Whoop, boop. Alright, now let's see if it's too big. <laughs> I don't think it's that big. It's, only, it, it's, it's not big at all. Oh, it's 40 pixels too big. Oh, that's one. Oh my god, that's massive. Very specific. We, we go for 1,000 by 1,000. Those are limits. I actually really like the hair in this one, so I mean, there you go. That's a good reason to give it an extra 40 pixels. <laughs> I got my sticking points, and my points are via pixels. Alright. So let's talk about this adorable thing. I think some people call it a poem. Aww. <laughs> it's such a cute face. I love the little scrunch nose. Teacup. <laughs> so adorable. So I think. Oh god, I'm on the wrong screen. I think the haunt. Where did it go now? Okay, it's under the Aggie. Uh, it's, um, it's all right, buddy. <laughs> right. The horn should just be. Has a back. Should be slightly higher up, I think, in its angle. CPC is getting all break is breaking it all down. <laughs> so actually I like this hair a lot. It it yeah. since since you have and I'm just gonna go over it because I like to make sure that people can see it. Um, since you have like these little areas that clump yeah. up, it looks really nice. You know what we mm -hmm. how we're always describing to people how to like add more sort of, like shape and weight to the hair by like, breaking it up and you know layering things on top of one another. That's exactly what you've done. Very nice. I typically love yeah. the way it sort of like curls onto the head there at the bottom. It's really nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this looks really good. Um. I like the I, I I like it a lot. Um, the only thing that I have is like like they were saying the uh, the horn. I would pronounce the cheekbone a little bit more personally, but that's your choice. And this hoof needs to be more defined. So like I was saying with the other person, whose name I can't remember, offhand, you gotta you gotta like. You gotta really just graduate that leg, because otherwise it just looks cylindrical. 
and you did it with all the other hooves. I think I think that you got worried about like the uh, the the teacup, and then you're just like, oh god, and yeah, and that's understandable. Interaction is always hard, even when it's with like an object. So, yeah. Although I do feel the tail could be ever so slightly longer, but that's just me. Like looking at <laughs> the sort of chibiness of the the whole proportions, it might sort of be more fitting to be smaller uh, and not drag on the ground. But it depends if you sort of imagine them like on all fours, sort of look at the size and. Uh, I think with the most, most pointy tails, they aim to sort of be like, uh, like a, a little bit like a hoof size off the ground at most, um, if not like properly dragging on it like Fluttershy. You can always tell that we like a post because we'll start nitpicking at our own personal <laughs> like once. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's just like I would and, do it like this. But you don't have everything. to. <laughs> Yes, pucks there if I have to put the chest buff in. This is me. <laughs> and you've got me and Q pencil case here. Like, no, no chest is ever going to go. No arm, no anything is going <laughs> to. You're stealing. You're stealing my job. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to leave Q pencil buff case because... out uh, on the street. I was just going to. How dare add, you? At the chest buff because. Uh, that's my jam, but then uh, since she was busy, I think I uh, <laughs> did a little elbow toss. But you've still got like the full on, full body fluff <laughs> to do if you want. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, overall, I think everything's placed really well, proportioned really well. Um, only thing is, if you do follow Ali Calls, uh, Star there, which looks really nice. Uh, I would also, I would also increase the size of the four hooves to, to match. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. Because you think... were saying you wanted to look like she was sitting, and uh, the basically, it, it's gonna sound like, it's gonna sound like so obvious and dumb that I'm saying this, but like, she has to have her butt has to sit on something, right? So her legs gotta move forward instead of just down because a lot of the time we think of like ponies the legs just go down but when sitting they go out towards us and then down so uh the the one thigh um that you have that's not closest to the viewer but farthest from the viewer on the this one right here just draw an arrow because it's you know easier um what i did was like i kind of picked it up a bit and brought it higher up on her body itself because even on the body where it was it was kind of low down where it would actually connect you know if we just draw all our body circles and have all that fun time it's 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 just kind of like you have to really because this is always hard for the leg that's furthest from what we're drawing because it's behind a lot of stuff it often just kind of gets fudged where the connection point is but that'll sometimes really help with how a pony is sitting on something you know how an object would push up against that like sitting on uh you know any flat surface your legs push up you know, the thigh gets lifted because, you know, the butt and the thigh are perched on the object. Fun stuff like that. Hopefully that is helpful. <laughs> Cows drew a uh, really cool robot spider eye patch. <laughs> All right. Do you have any further questions? I still really love that hair. That was, that's really good hair. It's nice clumps. You really get a nice like feel. Because I know you said you were doing this to practice the hair. So I, I do want to yeah. say that. Yeah, it looks really nice. How does one yeah. make fancier looking eyelashes? Go stare Ooh, at I'm, I'm good with that. Let me just make an eye shape so I can have a play around. If I could just describe it without drawing, like, still Fluffy's eyes gonna do it, but think of it as swooshier things, like really nice curved swooshes that end very thin 
at the end but are thick at the start. That's always like what I think of as the fancy eyelash. Why are my lines so much more like pixelated than everyone else's? Um, there's brushes on the bottom now, bottom right corner. Uh, oh, I see them. These look too soft. Oh, no, that's good. Q. Uh, so, um, here's my random eye. Some color, whatever. Um, so, uh, w I find myself unable to do like really simple eyelashes. Like sometimes I think it looks cute, but I just can't do it because to me I have to have. Uh, there's two things I do for eyelashes. One thing is I have to have them coming out at a soft hand like that. So they basically follow on and there's no sudden jutting out. The other thing is I'll mix between big and small. Like, so. Uh, and I've sort of, I mean, that was very roughly done, but um, mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I'll sort of just alternate and I'll gradually increase the tangent until it sort of matches up with the, the eye here. So then you get this nice sort of like flurry, and obviously that's like a really luscious array of lashes. Uh, you can sort of vary it depending on the pony, but um, that's a, a good way to sort of like you bring out the tangent. You put little thinner ones in between, and you just sort of work that around until you've gotten to the to the <coughs> edge, you, until you've got as many lashes as you want to put in. Uh, and that's I found is a really good way to make them nice and swooshy and elegant. Mm -hmm. And I highly recommend playing with, like, putting in, like, so many eyelashes, like, put it in a bunch and see how that looks, and then maybe tone it down next time. Like, let yourself play with, like, doing overboard so you can see, like, cause it's nicer to go too far and understand and then pull it back so you know, you know what's too far. Just let yourself really experiment with shapes, like, cute pencil case, I don't know if you can see um, the other drawing she's doing now, kind of has, like, I, I like to call um, those like peacock, eyela peacock eyelashes because like bit, they remind me of the feathers um, oh, yeah. and I, they're also really fun and elegant. There's so many ways yeah. to just play with that shape, the mm. complement to the eye. You absolutely just play around. Oh, something else I also like another style is when it's, you draw out the entire actual shape of the eyelashes. I'll just I'll do this in a sec to play around with. Um, you draw out the entire shape and then you color the middle of that. I, can't, I have pushed a talk on, so I can't draw and talk at the same time. <laughs> Ooh. I swear I'm not falling asleep. Did you just woke up? Yeah, but I only slept for like four hours. You should change your sleep cycles to coincide with our stream. <laughs> okay, I'll let my job know. Yeah. It's like, hey guys, I have to, you know, stream for no money, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Art is important. Yeah, they'll be fine with it. Don't worry. You, you, you call them up. You can tell my boss. Okay. We're a non-profit organization. Hollow Note totally needs this time to stream because this is important. Who's yeah. <laughs> How'd you get my number? <laughs> like so, I've done uh, when, I, when in the past when I've done this sort of like full color eyelash, I did I did it really roughly here, but it can look really really pretty. I think the first time I saw it done was uh, Atril, and he does it really nice. It has a really nice like putting weight to that eyelash, so it really looks like a whole part of the body, and it looks really feminine and weighted. Um, I see Key Pencil Case has tried it there as well. But I've, I, whenever I did it, I had people being like, dude, my, my friends say turn it down the eyelashes, or like, whoa, it is like some really thick eyelashes. And then I'm like, but I like it. And then everyone's like, uh, no, 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 you, you, do, you do what you like. Uh, you have fun with it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> backing up. I'm like, I think it looks nice. I don't know. Listen, sometimes you got to make choices, and mm. if you enjoy them, that's that's yeah. okay. Art's allowed to be something that you enjoy. <laughs> no one else has to understand. No fun allowed. Yeah. I say one thing, because I, st I, I started off doing it very badly, and then I uh, uh, repaired what I was doing midway through. Um, I sort of do, I start off with, uh, with, by making the sort of lash shapes, 
I, so sort of putting them roughly like where you want them to go, and then I, I sort of join those up because then that uh, God, it's so hard to control. This <laughs> but then that that does help you sort of come up with like uh, I forgot to say, with uh, the th because then then you know you're gonna place them in the right sort of area, and you don't have to think about it. You just join up these. these mm -hmm. I also really like that. Stroke at the same time. <laughs> I've also, I also really like that third example Q pencil did, case did on top. It makes me think of like hair, how you do it in clumps and you don't exactly do full detail. You kind of like hint to the strands, but it's still like clumps of eyelashes. So the idea is that they're big and bold. Yeah, you've never done that before. See, look, Q pencil case is experimenting and I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's the things you discover when you push yourself to go yeah. crazy. So you can just try all sorts of different, like how, how, what other shapes can I do that will make eyelashes? <laughs> but yeah, absolutely. I, I I like the the fact that you're sort of like practicing with hair with this and, and experimenting with that. So keep doing that, keep experimenting, keep saying, I have a weird idea in my head. I wonder if this would make a nice ear shape or a nice eyelash shape. Try it. If it fails, who cares? You tried something, you know. But like, you, sometimes you'll find some happy accidents and create something entirely awesome that can become part of your style. Wow. There are no mistakes, just happy accidents. Mm -hmm. And like, even if it doesn't work out, who cares? You know, you're just practicing, and like, no one can take away the fact that you tried to do something. Mm-hmm. <sighs> not, not to go off on a tangent, but I think that's something mm -hmm. that's often forgotten. That like, you're allowed to make things that don't turn out oh, yeah. okay. Like, that's totally yeah. fine. Not everything needs to be this finished, perfect perfection of masterpieceness. Yes. Failure is always an option. It's the best yeah. option. Yeah, it's productive for that. But yeah, they said uh, in chat they look forward to experimenting, so I look forward to seeing that too. Yeah. I really like your hair. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I really like her mane. <laughs> I really like her mane. <laughs> Alright, no one else has tossed any art at us, so another request for more art, and if not, then we'll be signing off for this week. <gasps> sounds sounds crazy, sounds This awesome. is actually longer than I thought we were going to go, so I mean... I mean, actually, this is some, like, really good critique. <laughs> We've got some nice, like, Oh, no, oh wait, sorry. didn't uh, Q Pencil Case have yes. something? Did she? Sorry. <laughs> there, this... Is it the Scary Paws picture? Yes. Okay. Ooh, where, Pega, where? Peg Alicorn, where? It's your horn. It's, a, it's for your character here. I've oh. I I didn't quite hear that. Well, your character here, she said. Dun, 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 dun. We might have to start a new draw pile. Oh my god. We do not crit the stuff in the uh, eggy. That is not something we do. The eggy that is for is fun free times. Fun. fun times did, to do stuff someone, together. No pressure. Did someone ask us to? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, the Aggie's crit free is just to mess around on. And it's like, it's hard to really draw at your best in, in Aggie. So it's like, like we can't, you've, you've seen us fail at drawing in draw pile as it is like Aki's a bit better but it's like it's still really hard so you know it wouldn't really be uh it wouldn't really be right to critique in there because you can't really draw your own style as easily throw it at her face mr brick and wall and i can't wait to see it crispy all right down at the bottom corner ladies and gents we got another one for you to grab in the pick Which arcade. Which one from, uh, are we doing? From our uh, pencil case that is the cutest. Didn't we do I this one last week? Brick and wall? No, I didn't. I don't case, know. Just these... Well, no, let's, no, no. let's brick and walls. Oh, brick and wall. I wasn't here last week. Didn't you? Yeah, this. Is I accidentally oh. slept through last week. I was just like, no, I'm dead. <laughs> cute pencil case. I love the little bat. That's so cute. Oh my god, I so, want one. So, which one? Like, are we critiquing all three, or...? The werewolf. 
the, the, the werewolf. werewolf. Okay. I've, I think I've like, seen. Have you shown us the, this before? So I think I've seen the one, uh, the the one holding the pumpkin uh, bucket. It looks familiar. Anyway. But Maybe. yeah, the werewolf. I drew this today. Oh, okay, so I'm I'm making things up. Then. The one <laughs> holding the pumpkin is menacing. <laughs> so that, uh, <laughs> where where pony? Where where the concept for this come from? Uh, I was just sketching things for. Just doing your Halloween sketches. He's Halloween. <laughs> I kind of disagree with the um, long toes here. Um, in my opinion, that 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 goes against like the werewolf kind of idea. Um, because yeah. like I always because like for wolves they have these like short little paws. I think it's because um, it's meant to be like. Uh, monster with their monster claws. Yeah, and so I mean that's why I said I disagree with, as opposed to I don't think that's right. <laughs> um, so I mean, like, like I said, like I I think that that would be more like dragon or like lizard kind of deal. So I don't know. I I I get like the the monstery feel, and that do- definitely does give it. So I mean, really. So I will say that I think it um, differentiates it from the back who's quite nicely. Um, That's you, true. Then you've got like these these much longer, slender, like, curvier sort of spiky mm-hmm. balls. I kind of like what uh, Q Pencil Case is drawing right now. Um, kind of like paws with very big claws. Yeah, I would do something like that because like, so with your art style, it it's very hard to make something that looks creepy. <laughs> like really really a lot of your art style you're you're going to have something that looks squishy and f- cute and fun and so it, i i would i would kind of try and mesh that with that and like w- with um like the idea of the um werewolf or whatever or were pony or were whatever you want to call him. Um, so in instead of like, because like right now you have like a, I I feel like this is clashing with the rest of the piece, just a little bit. Mm-hmm. And that's that's like my personal feelings. Like I said, it's not technically wrong. It's just feeling. More than a feeling. I just felt like the back legs needed a bit more, um, uh, like the, the the one closest to us needed a little bit of overlap and sort of positioning to really get that feel of the perspective in. And the one at the back I felt was a bit too far over, it looked like it's coming out of the right thigh or like the middle of the body, as opposed to like joining up to the thigh on the left of the character's right side, sorry. Um, it's a bit, a bit tricky to do, I always really struggle with this, like doing the back leg in the right place. But it, um, I just took, I did some under sketching as if I as if I was drawing the other thigh as well, uh, just to sort of work out where it goes. Yeah, I forgot to, to draw the black the back legs. And I... <laughs> it kind of reminds me of um, like this kind of reminds me of the um polar bear dog Korra in uh, sorry, uh, Naga in Legend of Korra, um, where it's got like the the big big floppy polar bear paws and really thick legs in the front and it's got like dog legs at the back. It kind of reminds me of that. Just that so you've got like the back legs for like sort of more control, I guess, and the front legs for that bounding. And so it does make kind of sense that they're really long because if it was doing that, then the, the bounding along would work. But I, I don't know, I, I feel a little bit like the, the back legs are a bit too short looking. But it's really hard to do because like you've got the right sort of idea with how the body is shaped i think so it's like how do you make them longer without them uh uh going below the ground um you it kind of makes me oh sorry i was just gonna say you could try moving them back a little bit but experimenting yeah go out. so um, i have a that sorry i'll go quick ahead. say something yeah, it kind of makes me think of uh 
primate anatomy, like a gorilla, how they have much shorter legs and feet, but their arms are massive and, like, bounding. I know a lot of uh, monsters are based off of that anatomy just because it's, like, you have this fierce upper body, this change, this, like, powerful arms, but, like, these legs are usually more in the background because the focus is more on, like, the deadly arms and face kind of a thing. Mm. I just had a question, like, if you, did you take, um, inspiration from, uh, the third Harry Potter movie at all? Because this is, like, the, the front legs really remind me of the sequence with the Lupin. No, I, I never saw the Harry Potter movies. That's, that's, well, as we discussed earlier, since you're living in Turingham now, well, you're gonna have to. Yeah. (laughs) I read the books. That's it. Oh, okay, that's good. Q, Q pencil case. Yeah. You don't want to go to jail. You have to watch the movies too. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about diamond, but I didn't have uh, reference because the internet. Diamond dogs. Mm, diamond dogs. Yeah, yeah that, that's a great yeah, reference. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, that's I, actually. I that yeah, I, yeah, no, actually, I, yeah. Uh, did you actually use them for reference, or were you just sort of having them in mind? Uh, no, th- I wanted to, but I didn't catch, I didn't have internet. Ah, yet. right, yeah, sorry, that's what you said. Um, yeah, I mean, it's similar, except uh-huh. I think with diamond dogs, they kind of, like, hang out to the side and then droop down to the ground like monkey arms. But, um, but yeah, I can I can see that's a good reference point. But certainly, what I would say uh, might help is get an entirely new sheet of paper, uh, at a point when you do have reference for things like uh, other werewolves and like the diamond dogs um, and get entirely new sheet of paper put this one aside maybe glance at it every now and then just to sort of remind you of things but just try the entire drawing again and just like and you know do your under sketching get everything set up really exaggerate the the life and the pose really like get because they this this was a good first draft and you got your idea out there and that's on paper that's in a solid form your idea is there so now if you draw it again you're really what you're working on then is the pose and like the weight and feel of it uh so that time you it might end up coming out better than the first time it's sometimes a technique that works works nicely in drawings when you're trying to concept something mm-hmm. this drawing like, over stuff sometimes a bit too hard sorry like brainstorming just to to think about something next i'm going to sketch them this mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Getting getting the concept out there sometimes good, and then and going through again and like refining that. I will say I I like where the, the mouth and eye sort of look. I I like the face in your initial um drawing, actually more than the, whoever did the purple. Uh, but I I'm sort of a, I really like that sort of really exaggerating, like where your mouth goes right up to the bottom of the eye, and it like links into the, where the eyes are curved upwards there. That all looks really nice. But I don't know, that's just me. So, like I was saying, even with your art style, even this creepy like deal, it makes me like think, oh gosh, squishy, cute. <laughs> it kind of does fit in with like MLPs. It's like you, it, most of the stuff. Not all, but most of the things, like, when if they have, like, a monster, like, usually it's still, like, cute and friendly looking, like, <laughs> it, it's quite a tendency for, oh, God, we've got a pony koala coming in here. <laughs> it's got a hug. A tendency for, uh, you know, it'll still fit within that sort of, like, cartoon pony sort of feel. So I it, would it get... still fits within the cute pencil case brand. I would get eaten because <laughs> I would hug it, and then they'd yeah, be yeah. like, oh, you no, you gotta die that. now. You just want to flop onto that fluff, just like that pony's doing now. <laughs> that is hollow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. Just like, ah, oh, cute fluff, and then I die. <laughs> All right. Do we want to move on to their next picture, then? Sounds Ooh. Oh, and uh, see, Ali's posted a nice reference of the Diamond Dogs, and Kara's has posted some nice, lovely claw reference. That's pretty cool. I also posted another werewolf reference up a bit further. That's a bit more menacing. Ooh. Where? Uh, a bit above. <laughs> uh, that's, get that's, out. That's oh. very, uh... Werewolves, yeah, I, werewolves! Yeah, I, I, always, I always really like that sort of werewolf design where it's like, 
where the legs, the back legs are like it has the same kind of shape of the body, but like the back legs are made more powerful by really exaggerating that down and then up and then back down again, like that lightning bolt shaped leg. It, it kind of reminds me, I think it's Fable 2 that they have like really cool shaped werewolves and I really liked how they look or something with that sort of style anyway, where like you see these powerful legs and you can just imagine them just jumping for miles, like. That could work. Like if you just exactly like pull, pull back the the sort of back part and just really make the legs more lightning bolt shape. I don't know, but yeah, that's a good reference. Uh, just definitely look a different reference. Hey, Mister Brick and Wall, you with us? I hope the answer is yes. We should probably rub out some of these eyes <laughs> going over the drawing. Ten thousand <laughs> eyes. Um. Do you have any questions offhand on this one? Because it looks like a redrawing of that picture you did last week. You've just done some corrections to the anatomy. Feel the legs are still off. Um, I have a question. Do you have any references? Did you use any references for this piece? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, because we can sketch over your work all day long, but all the answers you will ever need can be found in references. Not just one reference, maybe like Ooh. five references, but... Really, um, if you're having anatomy trouble at the base, like, get a reference. Find, you know, mm -hmm. real horses, ponies, artists you admire. Gather a few to look off of, not just one. And that's going to have a lot of help to finding what you need and what you want and to really help with the anatomy. Because that's something you can do to help yourself and to better yourself. Because a lot of the times, critique is good and people sketching over your work is helpful. But sometimes you'll be even better if you can solve this problem yourself, because a lot of art is just problem solving and using the mm. things you have to help solve those problems. Absolutely. Like like you and, and friends are a resource as well. Like, uh, but absolutely looking for reference and asking for second opinions. I think those are two of the best things for trying. It's, it's, your eyes sort of like go blah to things. So like look, getting other people to look at it, like the episode of uh, MLP where like uh, where Applejack needs everyone else to sort of like point into what he, she's doing because you know it's like you need a second pair of eyes sometimes. So I almost kind of want to say get yourself some references and try this again because mm. I feel like you'll learn more from that yeah. than us just sketching over and telling you how to fix it. But maybe we could, if at the very least, we should probably look over the parts that I think we think you should focus on with references that yeah, that would be a good idea i personally i think the two things that bother me the most are the the left leg here and our right and the wing um but ali ali is really good at wings so she can give us some nice Actually, I well i could um i mean like i said we could draw over and over the parts mm. but i think this really could be more beneficial yeah. for you to gather references gather birds gather ponies there's yeah. ponies in flight by many other artists that do a very nice job um mm. gather those references and try again I, and I then mean, we'll talk about it mm. i would just say i think that like looking at the really nice wing on the back if this one was copying that one and having that really like scooped over look so it, like it's cupping cupping around her then that would look much nicer if it was like balanced because at the moment it's just kind of off at the back and it's like it doesn't really look that it doesn't look like a wing very much and it also it, it's at a pose that just doesn't really make too much sense so you um i mean if one, you wanted to you could really exaggerate and bring those feathers in to really like get that motion in and cup the body but uh it's up to you how far you go with that but i think at least copying the position works would work much better i have a question for them um did you do is, is this your base sketch or do you have like an, another like more basic like circle -y? uh yeah do they have an under sketch yeah 
because like there there are a lot of issues here that like could be fixed with about 10 seconds of circles because yeah there's a lot of stuff to do with like the chest and size and where the body works like that that, makes much sense yeah like i was trying to look yeah so where you are right now in your art i can already tell you that you're gonna want to do those circles do them just just get it over with yeah i understand that you're like well i might not need it i know anatomy and i know proportions and trust me i still do them i've been drawing horses for what like four or five years now and it it helps i still still use them like it it, at the very least it's the the best way to like put down the fundamental pose uh but it it just helps you build up the body and the weight of everything or like the shape like it's just not good to go in and draw like unless you're doing a really quick cow stuntu style doodle you know and just you're just throwing out a quick drawing of a pony for silly and that's fine but that's like because you're not doing anything seriously but if you try and draw a picture like just Doing it flat out for nothing is not good. And I think the main reason for this as well, as, or, or the main reason is probably building it up. But the other reason is, I think we said very, very briefly at some point here before, it's you can't do anything with a blank canvas. Your mind can't see anything. It's really hard to like envision. You, you don't actually just project what you're trying to draw onto the page. So once you have anything on the page that helps you, you then work out what's next and you form it into how you want it to look so once you start doing the circles and things uh, that you know then just brush over it with a light eraser so it's kind of there but out of the way and then it'll give you a base and your brain knows how where to place everything and how to work everything out because on a flat canvas your eyes just go everywhere sorry so like 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 one of the big things that i notice is that her face it like it's it's not her face just pulls off of her head circle and so, like, if you just went with the head circle just real quick, like I had just done, like, right there, you can build off of that. And it's it makes it so much easier. And then you won't get issues like this. Mm. Every with, like, single drawing of mine, even doodles, I'd start with that circle with the plus. So, so this is an issue. And this is a little bit more in depth right now because what this is, it's called a tangent. And I like the fact that you're trying to do a um, a cheekbone and give it more depth and everything. But you got to make sure that you don't like interrupt another line because of it. Because if you have, say, like two hooves and they both come in on the same line it it's it your brain doesn't really know how to work on it and it really instead of having them like interacting you'll just see it as flat tangents is one of those things that you you don't really learn straight away it's something you just you sort of run into at some point it's a really interesting uh, topic of art but basically the concept is lines that meet up with other lines and your brain connects them together a, a classic thing is comic panels where like a, a line will from one panel will meet up with something a line going in a different direction uh, the same direction sorry from something completely different in the next panel and it your brain like connects them together i actually found a piece of art and it, it, i don't i don't like sharing it around because i i drew all over it uh, annotations but it wasn't one that was given to me for critique so i don't really like sharing it but it was uh a picture is a picture of rarity in spike i believe but it was a perfect example of where like there's a number of different types of tangents in the picture so like i, I wish i could but i don't want to unless like i knew the artist and asked their permission so yeah i agree with ali get some references do mm-hmm. the circles just just go with it because like <laughs> Like we've been telling everybody else, it it's necessary. Um, I know that a lot of like really good artists don't, but at the same time, they have been doing this for years and years and years and years and years, and they have been practicing so much that it's not even funny. Um, so it's very hard to like just go, oh, 
I can I can do that. And yeah, you you can eventually. Like, don't get me wrong. Practice, and you can do it. But as of where you are right now, you need to have that. You need to have the under sketching. You need to have the, um, like building blocks where where you are. And I'll say this is that what I didn't realize until very recently is that fundamentals make or break a picture. And so it doesn't matter what details you add. It doesn't matter what, like, like what your shading looks like. If your anatomy is broken, your picture is going to look broken. I am all done. So am I. Woohoo. Yeah, basic shapes are your best friends right next to references. All the fundamentals, they're all going to help you. I know it's boring and dry sometimes, and sometimes it's a pain to get references, and you feel like you're copying or cheating or whatever. That's all fake. It's all good for you. References are good. You know, using shapes are good. Being messy in a sketch and figuring things out, it's good. Completely agree. Definitely do not never shy away from references and copying them or from just being messy with your sketch. Uh, one, one thing I want to say, like, you don't always, like, don't be scared of doing, like, the under sketching. You don't always have to go full into it. Like, the, the other day, I posted a picture into the MLPDS chat. Um, I can't share the whole thing because it's suggestive uh, artistic nudity, but it's the, I, I um, <coughs> sketched over an arm and i did like a bunch of under sketching and it like looked like a, a kind of a doll like a puppet's arm like it, it looked like a robot prosthetic arm just because i've done so much in the way of like shapes to build up the hand but then i drew a really nice hand on top of that but <clears throat> that's because arms and hands are really horribly hard to do and humans are hell but um <clears throat> you don't always have to do some big huge advance of like under sketching sometimes you can just do like a basic amount to like get the idea of like where the, the body is. or even just like an action line like just something to get your your brain to just say okay this is where my idea is going and then like like i said earlier you, you work with that but don't be afraid just do it to the level that you feel is required if you're doing something easy then something simple action lines and basic circles and things can help if you're doing something complex then maybe go in for a bit more preparation give yourself that advantage All right. And with that, I think we're done. Yes, I need food and drink. <laughs> so, thank you all for coming, everyone. Yeah, thanks. Go draw evil things yeah. in the Aggie. We want your yeah. adorable evils. All the arts. There's like evil I, fluff I, I, balls. I do a patty shy and, and it's scaring Karis a little bit. <laughs> Spook. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, critiquers, for joining us. And thank you, Bug on the Wall, for flying around all day. Distracting you. <laughs> it's really annoying. It's just a fly. <laughs> buzz, buzz. See y'all next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.